in life, there are things called red flags. When we see a red flag, we should you know, pay attention and say, whoa, what's going on? Well, <laughs> if we have access ports or ports on our switches that go to other networks or non-switches, if we get BPDUs that are received on those ports where they're not expected, that's a huge red flag. So in addition to using tools like RootGuard, we could also use a feature called BPDU Guard. And this I'd like to talk with you about in this video. So here's the idea behind BPDU Guard. If we enable BPDU Guard, and let's imagine we enabled it right here on this port that leads to computer two, which Bob is sitting at. And for some reason, Bob's computer or whatever Bob is plugged in to a switch or directly to that port, if it starts sending in BPDUs, here's what BPDU Guard says. And it's going to error disable the port. So it's pretty strict. One BPDU and boom, that port is down. It's like, hey, I'm not even messing around. So it's pretty strict as far as BPDU guards. We'd only want to have it on ports where we would never expect to see a BPDU come in, including from an access port that's connected to our end users. Now, another option that isn't quite as severe is BPDU filter. And think of BPDU filter as kind of a gentle, that's okay, no big deal kind of attitude. With BPDU filter, if Bob does send in a BPDU, we're just going to ignore it. So it's not like we're going to shut down the port. We're just going to ignore it, pretend it didn't happen. Also, if we have BPDU filter enabled on that port, that means we're also not going to be sending out BPDUs like every two seconds out to an access device that really has no need to see that anyway. So as a summary, BPDU filter simply reduces the number of BPDUs that are sent and also ignores BPDUs as they come in, while BPDU guard has a really strong attitude. If it sees a BPDU coming in on a port that's protected with BPDU guard, it's going to error disable the interface. So here's what I propose we do. I've reset these three devices. So this guy's the root. We have designated port, designated port there and there. Root ports here and here. Designated port here. And then we're blocking on switch to 0 slash 5. So it's kind of a mean trick, but let's do this. <laughs> let's take 0 slash 3 and we'll shut it down. So when we shut that down, spanning tree on switch 2 is going to reconverge and he'll start forwarding out 0 slash 5. That'll be fantastic. And then while 0 slash 3 is shut down, we'll enable BPDU guard on the interface, which says after you come up, if you see a BPDU, go ahead and put the interface in an error disabled state. So then we'll do a no shut let it come up, and when it sees the BPDUs coming in from the root switch, <laughs> even though they're coming in in this example from the legitimate root switch, because BPDU guard is enabled, it'll go ahead or should go ahead and shut down port 0 slash 3. So ideally, we'd want to have this in a production environment enabled either specifically on the interfaces or by default on the access ports for any interfaces where we don't expect, like clients and so forth, where we don't expect BPDUs to be coming in. So here on switch 2, let's do a show spanning tree for VLAN 1. And currently our root port is FA0 slash 3. We'll go to interface FA0 slash 3 and we'll shut that bad boy down. And do show spanning tree for VLAN 1. And it is already converged. Thanks to rapid spanning tree. Fantastic. So FA0 slash 5 is forwarding. Now an interface config for FA0 slash 3. Let's go ahead and enable BPDU guard. And the syntax is spanning tree, BPDU guard, enable. And boom, it's enabled. So we do a show spanning tree for interface FA 0 slash 3. <laughs> it's not running because it ports down. All right, we'll bring it up. So we'll do a interface FA 0 slash 3. No shutdown. All right, now we do a show spanning tree for VLAN 1. What's wrong? Did I not bring that port up? Let's do a show interface status. Oh, there we go. It's, it's, it was error disabled. So it just got, bam, it hit a, got a BPDU and was error disabled. So we do a show interface status, error disabled, there it shows up. So FA0 says three is error disabled due to BPDU guard. So if we went in and did a shut and a no shut, we'd have the same problem because um, we get BPDUs again and then it would shut down the port again. So let's do a show run for interface fast ethernet zero slash three and let's go take it off. And then we'll do a shut and no shut and show spanning tree. There we go. So now we have fast ethernet 0 slash 3, which is now our root port once again. And then FA 0 slash 5, which is going over to switch 3, is in blocking state. Or if we want to be official for rapid spanning tree, we could say it's discarding.
So thanks for joining me in this video as we've taken a look at how we can use BPDU Guard to put a port in error disabled state the moment it sees a BPDU coming into it. I appreciate you joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe right here to get the latest information from CBT Nuggets. And if you're new to or considering a career in the world of IT, head on over to CBT Nuggets and sign up for a free trial.